We are Two Guys Playing Zelda, and you can follow us on Twitter at Two Guys Play Zelda or email us at Two Guys Playing Zelda at gmail.com. Welcome to our video walkthrough of Clock Town. It's the first section in Majora's Mask, and as you kind of saw from the opening screen there where it said Dawn of the First Day, uh, this Zelda game really took the whole time element to a new level. Mm hmm. Yeah, we have three days uh, to do everything uh, to beat the game, really, before yep. the uh, moon ends up falling and crushing this place. So uh... Sounds kind of dark. <laughs> yes, yes, and that's, yeah, this, this is a darker game, actually. Yep, but uh, thankfully you'll get the chance to replay those same three days over and over again and make a little mm -hmm. more progress each time. Okay, so you'll see at the end of this, uh, this walkthrough right here when we get to Ocarina. Yep, plus later on we'll learn tricks to slow down time, speed up time, yep. that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yep, transfer, do, uh, go to different days, Yep. double yep. time, I think, or stuff like that, so yeah. Yep. One thing I kind of didn't like about this, though, you do start out the entire first section. I mean, the first, honestly, half hour, 45 minutes yes, of the game uh -huh. in the form of yes. this little Deku It does take about, I mean, doing, like, you know, the right sequence, it still takes about 45 minutes. Yes, yes, it does. So, yeah, it's kind of a long, uh, kind of first part of the game, really. There's a lot to do here, though, in uh, in Clock Town. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of what we're doing here right now, when we first got into Clock Town, our, our fairy companion told us that the uh, maybe we should go to the Great Fairy for help. Yes, uh -huh, on the north side. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go visit her. And, yeah, uh, as, as Hickier mentioned, the, the, you know, mentioned the north side there, the clock town's actually broken into four parts. Yes. Uh, north, east, south, and west. west uh -huh. And it can be a little confusing to learn your way around uh -huh, the first time. And you want to get, I'm not sure how much the map is, but the tingle right there, we'll begin the map from tingle here in a while. That's actually a good idea to get very early uh, yeah, in the makes, game. Yeah, it makes clock town uh -huh. easier to navigate. And here it we can are. be, it's not going to be real confusing, but it can be a little confusing. Yep. And here we are in the, in the Great Fairy Spot, and as you can see, she's kind of been uh, torn apart, and uh, <laughs> she she's missing a fairy. She tells us so. Our first little quest here in, in Clock Town is going to go to find her. Uh, yeah, stray fairy. fairy uh huh. And the stray fairy will actually be in two different places, depending on if it's day or night. And the uh, first part's in the, uh, the during the day. It's kind of in the south part, like kind of over a little bit of uh, creek, I guess you would call mm -hmm. it. And then at night, I think it's in East Town. And that's a recurring theme here in Majora's Mask, is people will be in different locations, people and items uh -huh. will be in different locations depending on the time of the day. They really did a good job, I think, of making, especially Clock Town, kind of feel alive because every character has uh -huh. its own daily yeah, routine. Yeah, its own schedule, yeah. Uh -huh. yep. There's certain tasks you can only do it during the day, and there's certain tasks you can only do at night, too. Yep, yep. But thankfully, like we mentioned earlier, you'll be able to restart your three days, you'll be able to slow down advanced uh -huh. time, and that makes it easier to catch people when you need to, uh -huh. thankfully. And one thing I want to say in this game uh, very early on is that, like with the saving features, I know the saving feature actually was causing me a bunch of issues so I want to go ahead and get that out. The only way you can really save in this game is to play the Song of Time. Um, you'll see later on at the end of our, uh, on this first part, uh, actually the end of the Clock Town walkthrough, that you can save it to the Owl Statues, but that only allows you to start the game up from that spot once. Yeah. And then you have to use the Song of Time. So really the only way to save is the Song of Time. Yeah, it's the only way to be sure. <laughs> And here we are talking, as we mentioned, we talked to Tingle and we buy the Clock Town map. There's actually only five rupees. Nice oh, and cheap. okay, yeah, nice. So they, they want to throw you, throw you a bone right there from yeah. the beginning. And uh, this is making it a little easier to get around Clock Town because it is a fairly decent sized town compared to like Cockroach yes. Village. Yeah, I love the theme like music, man. Oh, I yeah. think they nailed it with the theme music. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Between the theme music, it's it's a good sized town, a lot of people, a lot of schedules. It's a pretty fun little opening area. You know, I gotta admit, this is not one of my favorite games. I'm gonna play through it again, kind of form my own opinion on it again. But I do love how they made it so much different from Ocarina of Time. Oh, they I think do. a lot of people at that time playing them to kind of maybe go right off of Ocarina or something or make a game that's kind of similar. Yep. This was so different that I did love that about it. It is different. It's, I mean, for once, it's not centered on focus, like saving Zelda uh -huh, or, or uh -huh. fighting Ganondorf. It's, uh, it's completely different. Yeah, we're trying to save the world from the moon crashing right. into it. And here's a straight fairy right here. That's that's where I'll always be during the day. Yep, as Hick mentioned, over, over the river right there in... Uh, West mm -hmm. or south, or and something. then yes, during at night it's in uh, East Clock Town. You gotta get one of those little uh, scrubs or scrub bushes or whatever and yes. shoot up to get it. And that's an important note. And also another thing about Majora's Mask is as you progress through the game, you'll get these masks that change your shape into various different uh, uh, species. I guess you yeah, Zora, yeah, different Goron. just different forms. Yeah, yeah, and they each have their own unique abilities. And with the Deku scrub here, he has the ability to like. Hunker down into a little bush and shoot yeah, himself up. Yeah, shoot himself up and fly like a like a helicopter. Basically, yeah. <laughs> and also, once we get our magic meter, we'll be able to shoot uh, bubbles. magic bubbles, mm -hmm. I guess. Which actually allows to kill enemies, which is absolutely shocking to me that a bubble could stun an enemy that is twice our size. Yeah, but whatever. Maybe just gets in their eyes and blinds them. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, now that we've found the uh, the stray fairy, we can return the uh, great fairy to her full form, mm -hmm. and she'll kind of direct us where to go next. 
Which off the top of my head, I guess. <laughs> I was sitting here trying to think of what was actually next. I couldn't think of it either. So we're actually, we're all going to find out here by ourselves yeah. what's oh, going on. I think happen. she sends us to the observatory, doesn't she? Ooh, she, no. No, we got to get the, uh, the we got to play the, uh, the, with the bombers first to get their code oh, the gang. to get to the observatory. We yeah. got to play the hide and seek game. That actually might be next. Yep. I was sitting there, I couldn't think of it either. I was yeah. sitting there trying to think of I couldn't remember what we did next. <laughs> Eventually, we'll have to get to the observatory, but to get uh -huh. there, we have to go through the hideout of a, of a little kid's I game. think we go out here, we blow the bubble at the balloon, yes. and pop it, and then we talk to that kid, Yep. play hide and seek, then we go get the code, go to the observatory. And you'll see all this here in a few moments. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, now that we got our magic meter, we can, uh, as we mentioned, blow bubbles that can stun enemies or pop balloons and uh -huh. other, other things like that. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it's, sound that nice. I think it takes a little bit of magic, but nothing to ever be worried about, really. Yep. Yep. Just another advantage of being a Deku scrub, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thankfully we got her back in back in form, but she wasn't a whole lot of help to us, though. Our our, t our fairy friend was wrong when, when she said that he thought uh, the great fairy would be able to stand up to the Skull Kid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. And here's the bubble we mentioned. We have yes. to pop. Or the, I'm sorry, the balloon. Yeah, the balloon. We have to pop mm -hmm. with the bubble. And that gets the attention of the uh, little gang of children here. Mm -hmm. They'll play this little game of hide and seek where there'll be uh, five kids. You just gotta go find them, and then you'll get the code for the uh, the observatory, or the code to go to the observatory. Yep. It can be a little bit of a pain finding these kids. If you get too close to them, they will take off running. But there is a trick, though. If you kind of stay a little bit away from them, you see I do it in this walkthrough. If you yep. stay a little bit away from them, you can actually blow a bubble. And it'll stun them. Yep. It makes them so much easier to catch, which is really the way I recommend. Yes, it does. Because if I remember correctly, you kind of spent some time running after one yes, or two of these guys. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh huh. That's very true. I think two of them are going to be here in North Clock Town. I believe so as well. I believe so as well. But yeah, as you can see, when you approach them, they really take off. Right? Yes, they do. You got to kind of get them good. Yeah. Yeah. That one, thankfully, is spin attack really usually easy. helps. Yep. Gives you a little boost of speed. Like I said, you'll see later on. Like I'll use the uh, bubble to stun them, which is a very good me method. Yep. Nice trick, though. You got two real quick. Yeah. Right off the bat. Right the here ones in North, North Clock Town don't seem to move that much. Yeah. Kind of easier than Yeah, it's kind of the ones, like, you know, <laughs> on the east and west part. And I think... No, I don't think there's one. Is there one in the middle? I can't remember. I don't think there is. No, I think there's two. There's two on this side, I think. Here in East Clock Town, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, East Clock Town, as our viewers are. Very large, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's one right here on the end. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, he takes off running with, with the... the Kuko. With the Kuko, yep. Mm -hmm. I think I got... Uh, nope, uh, I missed him. Uh, I missed him. You got the chicken. This, <laughs> oh, this guy plays around with me. This guy plays around with me, I think. Oh, that's right. Oh. I ended up going down in there. I knew I did something yeah. wrong there. You got to turn around and go back uh -huh. after him again. Yeah, I think. Well, so slipped up a little bit right there, I guess. Yeah, like I said, this is before we learned uh, you can stun him with the bubble yeah. before they take no, off. No, I actually knew at that time. I just didn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes it even worse. <laughs> so I think I think I might use it right here. Yeah, yeah I do. Here yeah. If you're far enough away, and you actually don't have to even get that close, to be honest with you. Yeah. As you can see right here, I thought I didn't hit him. Yeah, like the splash, I guess. But you, you took Yeah, I, I, well, I blew another bubble, and then, oh my god, this is a pathetic display of how to catch kids. <laughs> and now he's talking to the mailman, who's actually a bit of an important uh, side character later on in the game. I didn't remember doing this bad. I, like I think I went back in there on purpose just to get him to go back up on top of the roof. Yep. Just get, just get him back to his starting point. Yeah, there you go, yeah. Like I said, when I spit the bubble twice, that's when I guess when I hurt myself. It, it, right it there. doesn't stun him for long. It doesn't yeah. stun him for long. There we go. That time we got. It's always when you're first playing a game. Even if you played before, you still gotta get used to the controls a little bit. Oh yeah, so. especially switching to a Wii U controller instead of playing on a you know, 64 uh -huh. controller. That's true. That is true. Definitely a, some adjustment period. There. And I think if you go into the wall right here, he doesn't come down. I think you actually have to go on top of the roof. I think you're right, actually. I think you're right. That, that's that first one we caught, and that's part of the town. Uh, you just gotta go under the roof, and he'll jump off. Yeah. I think I ooh, got the Kuko there too. You, yeah, yeah, you nailed him. I think I blow a bubble with this guy too. Like I said, just get far enough away from him where he's not running. Yeah. And you're good to go. And, and I think this is the easiest way to get him, really, because if you try to chase him, it's gonna be. So you can do, yeah. do exactly what he did. Yeah, uh, yeah. The first time, yeah, you'll get going the other uh, yeah. part of town. But now we got uh, four down, one to go. Yeah, the last one is in uh, West Clock Town. Yep. And once we once we get him, the the little gang will give us the password to mm -hmm. get into their hideout. And it'll be smart to write down to write down because if you don't, I mean, you, <laughs> it's not like you know, it's not a bad idea to write it down. No, yeah, it's I was. Just, just handy to have it. It's easy to forget five. Because if you do forget, you'll have to go back through that part again. You have to basically yeah. start over the game again. And nice little note right here. We won't do it right now, but uh, that character right there was the bank. Whenever you uh, restart time and reset your three days, you lose all your rupees mm -hmm. you have on you. 
So it's always a good idea, if 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 possible, to deposit your rupees in the bank, and they will carry over. You also lose other items like sticks, uh, DQ oh, Dutch. Yeah. You also lose a couple of those things too. Yes, so. you do. It's kind of annoying. And once you deposit two hundred rupees, you actually or no, once you yeah, you deposit two hundred rupees, you get the bigger wallet. Always handy. To get that those. I think allows you to carry two hundred rupees. Always handy. But yeah, so now that we finally captured the five or captured, yes. I know what I was trying to say earlier. You can't look online and get the same code that works. That's oh, what I was trying to say earlier. Because I got stuck earlier on what yeah. I was talking about. Yeah, you can't go online and get the same code. That's why it's smart to write down because it's different for every single game you play. Yep, yep. So it's good to have it handy. I actually forgot mine. I had to go watch one of our YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever works, it's handy to have. So now that we got our code, we'll be able to use it to get into their hideout, which will lead us to the observatory. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's where we'll first get our good look at the uh, impending uh, yeah, doom uh -huh. of the moon crashing down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the entrance to their hideout, I believe, is in East Clock Town, correct? Yes, yes, yes it is. Uh -huh. Yes. It's kind of fun, though. They sit there and make fun of us and say, no scrubs allowed, but, uh, <laughs> but, they, but they let you in anyway. But they let you in with the code. Yep. He said, it's pretty easy to punch in here as long as you remember what it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, once we get in here, we'll be able to make our way through to the uh, to the observatory. Yeah, and then we'll look up through the telescope. We'll see Major's uh, or Skull Kid, Skull Kid. I always yep. call him Major's mask. And we'll pick Skull all Kid. that up in uh, part two of our walkthrough mm -hmm. of Clock Town.